Hey there, wrestling fans. Welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am Eric Snook. I am Brian Blitz. And we are excited to show you this week's episode. Now, first of all, we have some breaking news that happened this past weekend. We were supposed to have Stampede 2017, but unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties beyond our control, we've been forced to postpone Stampede 2017. Snook, I'm not 100% sure exactly what was behind that or, you know, what happened or anything like that. Obviously, I know you're disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed, and I really don't want to upset any of the fans there. But uh, rest assured, we are going to have Stampede 2017, and it's going to be at a time and a place uh, to be determined in the future. When? Not sure yet. Where? Again, not too sure yet, but hopefully, fans, as uh, the information comes down, we will be sure to disseminate to you both on Facebook and on the webcast as well. Yeah, we, we actually mentioned on our Facebook uh, a few days ago about the safety concerns that we were having for our performers and for the fans. Just keep in mind, that's our top priority, and I know we're going to have an announcement, hopefully in the next few days, about uh, rescheduling of Stampede 2017. Now, uh, in the meantime, one of the matches that we've had to reschedule is our match for the Southern States Championship. Uh, right now, Dante Steele is the Southern States Champion, and he will be taking on Logan Stevens on February 11th in Abbeville, Georgia. And we recently got some footage of Dante Steele and the Society of Sin. Um, it's it's as usual. It's weird. Yeah, the Society of Sin. I. I've never been shy to say how much they've creeped me out, and this week's interview is certainly no different. Yeah, so let's take it away to Dante Still and the Society of Sin. <sighs> February 11th, the Society of Sin will make their way to Abbeville. And the biggest problem that I have on my plate, boards, is Logan Stevens. This is the, what, the hundredth time that I've battled this man? I've defeated this guy numerous times, even with the strap on the line. And they still give the man another title shot. Boys, I am sick! But you know something? I'm going to give the fans what they want. I'm going to give Logan what he wants. Hell, it might be the last time Logan may ever see another title shot in his life. Because I guarantee you, after every veil, I am taking that boy's soul, and I guarantee I will burn it! <laughs> did... Did Dante really just say that? Nothing shocks me with Dante Steele and what he says. I, I, I gotta... I gotta assume that, uh, you know, obviously the marbles aren't exactly rattling around too well in his head, but, you know, he's the uh, Southern States champion for a reason, and he, he took it from the gentleman that's going to be in this week's match of the week, and that, of course, is the Jesus Freak Logan Stevens. That's right. Logan Stevens, who is a former CCW Southern States champion himself, is going to be the feature in our match of the week this week. He's taking on the former CCW heavyweight champion, Daniel Anderson, and you'll notice the Dynamic Exchange was not there ringside with Daniel Anderson, and I think that can play a big part in this match. So without further ado, let's take it away to this week's Match of the Week. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. And there we see Daniel Anderson, member of the Diamond Exchange, and former CCW heavyweight champion taking on Logan Stevens, who is the former Southern States champion here in CCW. Now you'll notice that Daniel normally has his manager, Diamond Dave, and his security guard, Hollywood Von Royal, at ringside with him, but he is without those two individuals. And a rollover, flips him over, goes for the pinfall, not quite enough. But now Daniel Anderson forced to escape to the outside of the ring. Trying to catch his breath and regroup. And this crowd here is firmly on the side of the Jesus Freak Logan Stevens. So 
the rev up to a three count now. And Logan not letting Daniel Anderson into the ring at all. Like I said, this is just my games on the part of Logan Stevens. And finally they tie up in the middle of the ring. Stevens with the advantage with a headlock with Daniel Anderson. Tried to pick him up and Logan Stevens reverse with a headlock takeover. And roll up one. Daniel Anderson, the wire veteran, almost got away with one there. Logan Stevens able to get back out of that petty situation. Go back to the attack on Daniel Anderson. He wrenches up on that arm. Anderson reverses and goes on the aggressive here. Like I was noting earlier, the Diamond Exchange is nowhere to be found right now. Daniel Anderson had to travel to this event by himself, so they are not ringside. Usually when they are ringside, dubious things happen. And it usually works out in the favor of Daniel Anderson. Not the case tonight. Daniel Anderson is going to have to win this one by himself. It'll be interesting to see if he can do that against the very popular Logan Stevens. Anderson whips him into the ropes, misses with a huge clothesline, and another miss, and a crossbody by Logan Stevens. One, two, almost enough. And these two men just collided in the middle of the ring. They both had the same idea. Daniel Anderson. It will sit down on top of him. Uh, Whips him into the turnbuckle. And the patented belly to belly suplex. Daniel Anderson is known for. Daniel might be taking too much time here to go for a pin. Finally, and with one knee on him. And Logan able to get his shoulder up out of that one. Now Daniel Anderson just stopping on that arm. Logan's even trying to battle back out of it. And all the momentum is on Daniel Anderson's side. And again, going to the attack on that left arm of the Jesus Freak Logan Stevens. with a huge running knee and a spinning hill kick. This could be it. One, two. Not quite enough for Logan Stevens. And now he tries to get the crowd pumped up and motivated behind him. And with a huge famous serve, this should be it. Logan Stevens wins the match, defeats former CCW Heavyweight Champion Daniel Anderson, who did not have the help that he usually has from the Diamond Exchange. Set skill, 15% concentrated power of
Ricky, there you have it. Uh, Logan Stevens certainly proven over a very formidable former champion in Daniel Anderson that uh, he's ready to accept the challenge of Dante Steele. I think this might be the biggest match yet between Dante Steele and Logan Stevens. We saw Logan Stevens defeating the former CCW heavyweight champion Daniel Anderson. That is no small task. Now, marching forward, uh, like we mentioned earlier, Stampede 2017, not canceled, just put on hold yeah. briefly. Uh, we should have an announcement hopefully in the next few days. Keep uh, in tune on Facebook, keep in tune on Twitter, and of course the webcast. We're going to have announcements coming very soon about Stampede 2017. And also, let's not forget about uh, in Abbeville, Georgia, February 11th, of course, uh, one match that is definitely going to be taking place is the aforementioned match between Dante Steele and Logan Stevens. We are going to be talking more about that in the coming weeks as well and uh, what's going to be happening there, too. So, yep. so we, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We want to thank all our great fans for standing by us during these trying times of postponing shows and rescheduling this and that. Uh, we really appreciate all your support. But for now, I'm Eric Snook. And I'm Brian Blitz. And we'll see you next week.